What's up, YouTube? My name is Kenneth. Last month, we head out to the Alabama Hills for the Geminid Meteor Shower. We captured time lapse of the meteors, and we also captured some on video. For this month's Dark Sky Weekend, we head out to Death Valley National Park. There, we camp near the secluded Ibex dunes to do some time lapse and astronomy. We had a great time testing out my new CGXL mount for my Celestron 11 inch telescope. We saw tons of dark sky objects and even tried out some astrophotography. We woke up for an early hike to the top of Ibex dunes. The kids did great and right as we climbed to the ridge, the sun peeked over the mountains. It was absolutely beautiful and the dunes were untouched. Once at the summit, we slid down the dunes to explore the abandoned talc mine. We had a great trip and I hope you guys enjoy this short time lapse as well as some of the pictures we took through the telescope. I hope you guys enjoyed these short time-lapse sequences. We had a ton of fun under the stars with the new CGXL telescope mount. It held my telescope great and the go-to was super precise. We saw tons of deep sky objects and had a wonderful time. We even tried some astrophotography like I said and here's a couple shots I took. These are not great images, they're actually only 30 second images so I was really impressed that at 30 seconds it was able to do so well with the Sony a7S II camera. But the first one here is of, of course Orion's Nebula which is probably the best thing to see in the sky. The second one is of the Flame Nebula which is also in the Orion constellation. Uh, this one I couldn't see when I looked through the telescope visually but with 30 seconds on the Sony a7 camera, I was able to capture this. It's not that great, uh, it needs a lot more time, but still was able to see it with a camera, which is pretty cool. And then we have M46, which is a really beautiful open cluster, and it's really cool because it has that little planetary nebula, that little blue uh, donut sitting out in front of it. It's really uh, one of the cooler uh, open clusters, I think, because of that. And then finally, I have no business taking a picture of Andromeda with a 11-inch F10 telescope, but what do you know, I tried it anyway. Uh, obviously, I need a wider field to capture it, so I took two pictures just to see what it would look like, uh, and then um, they're each 30-second long exposures uh, that I then I made a quick mosaic from. And that's all I had for you, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and hit the like button. It helps out a lot. Also, let me know in the comments what you think of this format. My goal is to go out each month on the darkest weekend for a night of photography and time lapse. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see more. Thanks for watching and have a great day.